I want to show you one of the two problems that you have to do for the 9.2a because I want to make sure that you know what I'm looking for when I grade your wiki pages when you have a formula that you need to use. You plan to save money for a down payment on a new pickup truck. To accomplish this, you use $3,500 to purchase a government bond that pays 4.89% annual simple interest each year. How much money will you have in three years? So I see a lot of information in this problem. The first thing that jumps out is this $3,500. You use that money to buy a bond, and then that tells me that that's going to be my starting or present value. And then the interest is 4.89%. That's telling me my rate is going to be 0 0.0489 or you can leave it as a percent and use that percent button on your calculator. The other things I see are annual simple interest. Now annual just tells me it's happening every year. Simple interest is my keyword that's telling me that I need to use one of the simple interest formulas. And then how much money will you have in three years? That's going to be T equals three, but then how much money will you have that's another keyword that's telling me this says simple interest formula and then this one tells me the future value. So of the two formulas that I have, I don't need to calculate just the interest part. I need to find the total amount in the account. So first thing on every problem that you work on a wiki page, I want to see your formula that you chose to use. So for this one, it's going to be future value equals present value times one plus RT. Write out the formula first. That gets you one point on your, on your problem. Even if you get your answer correct and you don't give me the formula, I will take off one point. The next thing I want to see is the formula with all of your values plugged in. And so that'll be $3,500 times one plus my R is 0 0.0489 and my T is three. This is the second thing that I'm looking for, which is that formula that you chose with all the values plugged into the correct places. And so you'll have, it's a two step deal to start off your problem. This is step one and this is step two. Now at this point, you can show work in between, that's fine. But the third thing that I'm looking for is your answer. And so that will look like FV equals and probably a dollar sign and some amount of money. So the parts in between are going to go like this. I need to look inside my parentheses and work there first. So I'll do this multiplication first. So that's 0 0.0489 times three. I'll leave that sit on my calculator, but I can write it out if I want to, that's fine. And I would put in equals because I'm implying that the FV is written down there again. And then I have, I'm just rewriting what I have so far. If you're showing your work, I really love it to look like this. I know if I add one to this value, I can just show that really easily. So 1.14, so I'll just write that next, 1.1467. And then multiply it again by 3,500 this time. And I get 4013.45. And that is money, so I can just write it down as my answer, $4,013.45. And that would be my answer. I don't really care if you don't put the FV equals on your answer, but you definitely need to state your answer. It needs to have dollar signs. It needs to be rounded to the proper number of pennies. And again, what I'm looking for on a problem for all of your wiki pages for chapter nine is state the formula that's worth a point, show the formula with all the values plugged in that's worth a point, and show your answer in dollars. <laughs> and cents. So round it to the, to the correct number of pennies and put that dollar sign on the front. This answer in its correct format is worth two points. So that's what I'm looking for on your problems, every problem from here on to the end of this chapter.